What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Tara J, back again with another one. And today, as you can see from the title, I have some lipstick that I will be reviewing. But before we get into that, I don't want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now and subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video. And while you're down there, you might as well give this video a big thumbs up because why not, right? <laughs> but yeah, ladies or gents, if you're watching this, so if that is for your lady, go ahead and do that. Let me tell you how it is, okay? Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, this is Pat McGrath's Lab Femi Bot Fetish Lip Trio. This came packaged so beautifully with the glitters in it and all of that good stuff. It gives you a lip liner, it gives you a lipstick, and it gives you a lip balm that is clear. So let's go ahead and check it out. I already opened it up. For starters, I paid $25 before tax for this beautiful, beautifully packaged lip luxury fetish Feeny Box okay <laughs> however they want to put it but i didn't think it was going to be this small but it really is like pocket size this is probably something that you can take on the go i'm assuming that they probably have a bigger one that is like regular size this is one of your on the go kind of things i love the lips that are on here if you guys can't see it here it is i love the lips i love the lips that is super super cute i'm a, this one is the clear one it also has lips on it this is clear. This is what it looks like. This is just a lip balm. I guess you would put this on top of your lipstick after, or you can put the lip liner and the lip balm. You don't even have to do the lipstick. This is what the lipstick looks like. Super cute, small, you know, not too much, nothing. It's a beautiful color, by the way. It matches my eyeline, my eyeshadow. But yeah, and let's look at the lip liner. This lip liner is suburbia that's the color of the lip liner that's the color that they're saying this is it doesn't give a color for the lipstick though yeah it doesn't say what color the lipstick is but it's probably like a like a purplish pinky fuchsia kind of color so let's try out this pencil okay honey let's check it out This looks also like a fuchsia color, which is pretty. I am growing on like pink. It's like really, really, really growing on me. Like, of course my favorite color is orange, but pink is like, I've been seeing some like, <laughs> I've been seeing some like really, really, really so, so pretty pink stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, pink is beautiful. especially those pastel pinks all pastel colors are beautiful i'm not even gonna lie like the pastel yellow is beautiful it's for sure you know what the green the pastel green is pretty but green is pretty just in general you're probably not supposed to put all of this lip liner on but that's how i do it okay Kind of like that, um, that meme. They probably ain't gonna put to, um, tell you to do this in training, but this is how I do it. Somebody training somebody, a ghetto person training somebody. You probably ain't gonna, they won't, probably don't want you to do it, but like this, but um, this is how I do it. We're gonna try to list it. Ah, oh, this is pretty. It does cover up the lip liner. The lip liner didn't do it any justice, honestly. Oh uh, yeah, it did not do it any justice, probably because it's such it's so matte like. So what I'm gonna do is go back over it with the lip liner. that tint going 
It's like ombre. Once the lip liner gets going with it, it does become like an ombre look. I love it. Okay. So that is what it looks like. Beautiful. It sits perfectly. I think this is so pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the balm on top of it. Maybe you give it a shine. I don't like this. I hate lipstick that like dries out like that in the inside. Like, uh-uh. That's not what it's supposed to do. So if you don't want the matte look, they, if you don't want the matte look, they do give you this lip balm. And you can just throw it right on top of the lipstick. You look, you probably don't even, you don't even gotta use the lipstick. You can just use the lip liner and the lip balm. And I think it'll be balm like that. Cause that's what I just did. If y'all go see my um, makeup tutorial on how I did my eyeshadow. I did a, um, a lip pencil that I got from Sephora. It was just six bucks, this one specifically. And then I put some Fenty Beauty lip gloss on my lips and there you have it guys this is what Femi bot looks like i absolutely like it it's a little bit too popping for me considering my eyeshadow was like popping i'm not really a big on um, match my lipstick with my eyeshadow kind of thing but this is cute it is cute yes yes so if you're wondering what it looks like That is what it looks like up close, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. As you know it, this is me reviewing my first and ever time buying the Femi Bot Pat McGrath's Labs Femi Bot Fetish Lip Trio, okay? Again, I paid $25 for this at Sephora, and I absolutely love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as you know it, I'm Tara J, and I'm out. Peace.